Hello, Matt here from chemistrystudent.com. In this video, we're going to look at the basicity of amines. We're going to talk about how amines are able to act as bases, why some amines are stronger bases than others, and compare the basicities of aliphatic and aromatic amines. Amines, their preparation, and some reactions of amines have been covered in separate videos. Check the links in the description below. Before we talk in detail about amines acting as bases, there are a few essential ideas you need to be comfortable with. Amines are a group of organic compounds that derive or come from ammonia, NH3. Amines can be aliphatic or aromatic. In aliphatic amines, one or more of the hydrogen atoms in ammonia has been replaced with an alkyl group. An alkyl group being a straight or branched carbon chain such as methyl or ethyl. In aromatic amines, one of the hydrogen atoms in ammonia has been replaced with an aryl group. An aryl group is an aromatic ring such as phenyl, effectively a benzene ring group that is bonded to something else. Amines can be primary, secondary or tertiary, depending on the number of carbon groups bonded to the nitrogen in them. Primary amines have one carbon group bonded to the nitrogen. Secondary amines have two groups bonded to the nitrogen, and tertiary amines have three carbon groups bonded to the nitrogen. According to the bronsted lowry definition, acids are proton, or H plus ion, donors, and bases are proton, H plus ion, acceptors. The basicity of a base refers to how easily and readily it accepts a H plus ion and remains as a conjugate acid. Strong bases readily accept H plus ions and weaker bases less readily accept H plus ions. Recap done, let's go. Ammonia NH3 is able to act as a base and accept a H plus ion as it has a nitrogen atom with a lone pair of electrons. The lone pair of electrons can be used to form a coordinate dative covalent bond with a H plus ion forming a positively charged ammonium ion, NH4+. As amines are derivatives of ammonia, they also have a nitrogen atom in that has a lone pair of electrons, meaning they also can act as bases. When reacting with an acid, the nitrogen in an amine accepts a H plus ion and forms a positively charged ion, just like ammonia forming NH4+. The amine acts as a bronsted lowry base. The positively charged ion produced will form a salt with the negatively charged ion left behind from the acid. For example, if hydrochloric acid reacts with ethyl amine, the nitrogen in ethyl amine will accept a H plus ion from the HCl and form the positively charged ion ethyl ammonium. The negatively charged chloride ion from the HCl will be attracted to this positively charged ethyl ammonium ion and the salt ethyl ammonium chloride will be formed. The type of salt formed depends on the type of amine reacting with the acid. Aliphatic amines will form alkyl ammonium salts, like the example just given, and aromatic amines will form aryl ammonium salts such as phenylamine reacting with HCl to form phenyl ammonium chloride. The interesting thing is that some amines are able to act as stronger bases than others. We call this property of how basic a compound is its basicity. Some amines are very good at accepting and holding on to H plus ions and are stronger bases than ammonia. As a rule, aliphatic amines have a higher basicity than ammonia and aromatic amines have a lower basicity than ammonia. For example, phenylamine is a weaker base than ammonia and ethylamine is a stronger base than ammonia. But why? Well, as we've said, the ability of an amine to act as a base comes from that nitrogen atom and its lone pair of electrons. When the nitrogen atom accepts a H plus ion, a positively charged ion is formed. The more unstable this ion is, the less likely it is to form or remain as an ion. 
Remember, accepting H plus ions is a reversible process. And if the ion formed is very unstable, it can simply lose the H plus ion again and the amine can reform. The more available the lone pair of electrons is on the nitrogen atom, the easier it is for the nitrogen to accept and hold on to a H plus ion increasing the amine's ability to act as a base. The less available the lone pair of electrons is, the harder it is for the nitrogen to accept and hold on to a H plus ion, decreasing the amine's ability to act as a base. In aliphatic amines, the alkyl group, or groups, bonded to the nitrogen give what is called a positive inductive effect. Rather simply put, they are able to push electron density towards the nitrogen. This increases the electron density around the nitrogen atom, almost pushing the lone pair of electrons further away from the atom and making them more available for a H plus ion to bond with. If the nitrogen accepts a H plus ion, this positive inductive effect also helps stabilize the positive charge it ends up with. As electrons are negatively charged, and if pushed towards a positive charge, make it more stable. This stabilization helps stop the ion from losing the H plus ion again and the amine reforming. This all makes aliphatic amines relatively strong bases, and stronger than ammonia because in ammonia there are no alkyl chains given a positive inductive effect. It's a different story for aromatic amines, however. The aromatic ring in an aromatic amine has a delocalized electron system, like a phenyl group that contains a benzene ring. The lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen in the amine get delocalized slightly into the ring of electrons in the aromatic ring. You can kind of think of it as the delocalized electron ring pulling electron density away from the nitrogen atom. This makes the lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen less available to bond with a H plus ion, making the molecule a weak base and giving a low basicity. This is the complete opposite of the positive inductive effect caused by alkyl groups in aliphatic amines. There, electron density is pushed towards the nitrogen. Here, electron density is being pulled away from the nitrogen. This is referred to as a negative inductive effect. In ammonia, there is no positive or negative inductive effect, meaning its ability to act as a base or basicity is between that of aromatic amines and aliphatic amines. For aliphatic amines, the number of alkyl groups bonded to the nitrogen also has an impact on its strength as a base. The more alkyl groups there are bonded to the nitrogen, the greater that positive inductive effect, meaning secondary amines are stronger bases than primary amines, and tertiary amines are stronger bases than secondary amines. So, to summarize, amines are able to act as bases as they contain a nitrogen atom with a lone pair of electrons that enables them to accept and bond with a H plus ion. Aliphatic amines are stronger bases than ammonia, and aromatic amines are weaker bases than ammonia. How well a compound can act as a base is referred to as its basicity. A high basicity means a stronger base that can readily accept H plus ions, and a low basicity means a weaker base that less readily accepts H plus ions. Aliphatic amines are stronger bases than ammonia because alkyl groups bonded to the nitrogen give a positive inductive effect, pushing electron density towards the nitrogen atom and making its lone pair of electrons more available, making the nitrogen more likely to bond to a H plus ion. The positively charged ion formed is then stabilized by the positive inductive effect. The more alkyl groups there are bonded to the nitrogen, the greater the inductive effect and the more likely it is that a H plus ion will bond to the nitrogen and the more stable the positively charged nitrogen will be, increasing the basicity of the amine. As a result, secondary amines with two alkyl groups have a higher basicity than primary amines, 
and tertiary amines with free alkyl groups have a higher basicity than secondary amines. Aromatic amines are weaker bases than ammonia and aliphatic amines as the aromatic ring bonded to the nitrogen atom pulls electron density away from the nitrogen and as a result nitrogen's lone pair of electrons get pulled closer to the atom and end up less available for a H plus ion to bond with, giving aromatic amines low basicities. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out other relevant videos in the links given in the description below and visit chemistrystudent.com for free notes and revision materials.